Hey, let us talk about mythology again. This time, let us talk about Nyx, the mysterious goddess of the night. Today, we are talking about Nyx, one of my absolute favorite deities throughout all of mythology. Obviously, my favorite being Athena. As if no one would already have noticed that. Well, Nyx is the goddess of the night, even though Titanus would be more correct, since she is a primordial. You have probably heard of some of her children, but surprisingly, not too many people know about herself. Even Zeus, the king of the gods, had a special respect for her, which, by the way, shows that just because you are stronger than someone else in Greek mythology, you are not necessarily have to rule over others. But what precisely makes her so powerful and mysterious? Let's dive into her story. But as always, before we are getting started, please like this video and subscribe if not done so already. And maybe, if you can, share this video as well. So, Nyx was one of the first goddesses to exist. She has tons of children, many of whom you might recognize. With so many powerful descendants, you'd think she'd be a major figure in Greek mythology. But oddly enough, she isn't. She's kind of a hidden gem, quietly weaving her through the background of the myths. She was born from chaos, also known as the Abyss, the primal void. And if you're wondering what exactly chaos is, I have a video made about exactly this topic. But to make it short, it's not a god or even a thing. It's more like the gap, the emptiness from which everything started. And of course, Nyx wasn't born the usual way from parents, but rather emerged literally from nothingness. This makes her a primordial deity, one of the first beings in existence. Nyx was born alongside her brother Erebos, who represents darkness. Together, they were key figures at the dawn of time. Just think about it. As the chaos ebbs away, out comes Nyx, the embodiment of the night itself. By the way, the name literally translates to night, and she has personified everything that people found mysterious and unknowable in the dark. While her role in myths is a bit limited, her origins are clear. She came into being at the very start of the universe. After she was born, Nyx took up her job as the goddess of the night. She had the power to bring darkness to the world when dusk fell. People believed it was Nyx who was strapping a sky in her dark cloak. But she didn't just bring night. She also influenced everything that came with it. Dreams, secrets, and the airy stillness of the night. As said, even Zeus, who wasn't scared of much, respected Nyx's power. He was cautious around her, which shows just how much influence she had even over the other gods. Nyx's daughter, Hemera, was responsible for bringing the day. And here another fun fact, Hemera is the word for day in Greek. When Hemera appeared, Nyx's reign over the night ended, and the cycle continued. Together, they kept the balance between day and night. Now, depending on the myth, Nyx had up to 17 children. Some of the most famous are Thanatos, the god of peaceful death, Hypnos, the god of sleep, Nemesis, the goddess of retribution, and Eris, the goddess of strife and discord. You might think 
that a goddess as important as Nyx would be all over Greek art. But, oddly enough, yet again, she isn't. When she is shown, though, it usually is a beautiful, elegant woman moving gracefully across the night sky. She is often depicted riding a chariot, a dark cloak trailing behind her like the night itself. One famous image shows her as a young woman with large, dark wings, which represent how night spreads everywhere. Her wings are so vast, they could cover the world. Now, let's get into one of the more well-known myths about Nyx. It involves her son Hypnos and Zeus. So, here's what happened. Hera, Zeus's wife, and the queen of the gods, wanted to call some trouble for Heracles, Zeus's mortal son. You may know his labors he had to do, well, to become a god. To do that, she needed to distract Zeus. So, she asked Hypnos to put him to sleep. Of course, Hypnos is not a fool, and so he wasn't too eager to help, because the last time he did it, Zeus nearly threw him off Mount Olympus. Trust me, you do not want to be thrown off Mount Olympus. Ask Hephaestus, he was been thrown off as a baby. So, in this time, Hypnos asked his mother, Nyx, for protection, and she agreed. So, with her making him up, Hypnos lulled Zeus into a deep sleep, allowing Hera to go ahead with her plan. Even Zeus, the king of the gods, didn't mess with Nyx, which again shows just how much power she had. One of Nyx's other famous children is Nemesis, the goddess of retribution. She made sure that no one had too much happiness or success without deserving it, keeping balance in the world. Well, better times back then, I guess. Nemesis and Nyx had a special connection, mother and daughter, each with their own role in maintaining cosmic balance. While Nyx ruled over the mysterious of the night, Nemesis kept human success and power in check. So, Nyx's influence stretches beyond mythology into literature and even astronomy. The asteroid 3908 was named after her, recognizing her as a symbol of the night sky. From her birth in chaos, Nyx has touched so many aspects of the world, from dreams and darkness to literature and the stars. She may not appear in many stories, but her presence is always there, trust me, quietly, waving through the cosmos. Well, that wraps up our journey through the story of Nyx, the mysterious goddess of the night. I hope we have shed some light on her shadowy figure and sparked a bit of curiosity. Venture with me into the shadowy realms of ontology, where hidden connections and forbidden knowledge await. Together, we will uncover the dark secrets that lie beneath the surface of these ancient tales, revealing that there is much more to mythology than mere stories, and there are profound truths waiting to be discovered. So, join me on this journey, and let's explore the mysteries together. Thanks for watching.